boys and girls. My name is Miss Shy. What's your name? Well, hey there. I am so glad that you could join me today because today we are going to read a story that I just know you are going to enjoy. Today's story is called Grumpy Monkey and is written by Susan Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath. You should make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should just sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? Asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat on his chest. And he stormed off.
Jim felt sorry. A little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, He came upon Norman. Norman was slumped, his eyebrows were bunched up, and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. and he already felt a little bit better. Wasn't that a great story? You know what I love most about it? Even though Jim was having sort of a bad day and feeling a little bit grumpy, he had a lot of wonderful friends that really wanted to help him make his day better. They had lots of great ideas of things that he could do to make him feel better, but really, I think Jim just needed a little time out, just a little time to himself to just relax and just breathe and just spend time with Norman and just sit there and think, just take a break. And sometimes when you're having a day and it's not the best day you've ever had, sometimes just taking a break, even with one of your friends, just sit quietly and rest and just take a breath and maybe you'll feel a little bit better. So don't be afraid to take a time out. Sometimes that's just what you need to get back to feeling better. And as Jim's friend said, it's a wonderful day. So have a great one. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.